Do you want to be able to record your screen and webcam separately in OBS? Doing so can give you much more flexibility when editing your videos. Today, I'll show you how to do this and also how to edit your footage in DaVinci Resolve. So let's jump in. What's up guys, it's Trent. And today we're talking about how you can record your screen and webcam separately in OBS. This is the method I've used to make videos on this channel recently. It gives you lots of flexibility to move the webcam wherever you want when editing. I can move the camera here or over here, and I can even make it bigger without losing resolution. And best of all, I'm not permanently covering up my screen. I can just show the screen by itself if I want. So let's see how this technique works. First, let me briefly show you the way I used to record my videos and maybe the way you still record your videos. And in fact, this old method is still good in some situations. In fact, it's exactly what I still use for my live streams. With this method, I create a canvas that's the size of my monitor resolution. This monitor is the desktop that I want to record. Then I add my webcam and mic to the scene. Let me show you how to do this in OBS. So I'm here in OBS and I created a new scene. I'll add my desktop monitor. So I'll click the plus here. I'll add display capture. I'll say OK. You can see we get this hollow windows effect because I have OBS open on this window. But I'll just say OK. So this is my canvas here. Then I'll add my webcam. So I'll click the plus. I'll go to video capture device. I'll click OK. And then I can choose my USB camera. So once again, I'll click OK here. And my USB camera now is on my canvas and I can move it wherever I like. Maybe I can move it off a little bit. Now, like I said, I still use this approach for streaming, but the downside for my other types of videos is that when I'm editing them, I don't have a lot of flexibility in moving my image around here. Also, I'm permanently blocking this bottom left corner. Now let's look at the new way I record my videos. So here I've given a mock-up of the canvas we're going to create. And the key thing is that we're going to double the width of our canvas. On the left side of our canvas, we'll record our monitor at full resolution. And on the right side, we'll record our webcam at full resolution. So assuming both of these are 1920 by 1080, our width will actually be 3840 and our height will still be 1080. So this may seem kind of crazy, but once we start editing, you'll see how we can actually work with this. So let me show you how it works in OBS. So I'm back in OBS and I have an empty scene here. I recommend creating a separate profile to get this to work. You can do that through profile new. And I created a secondary profile called OBS dual recording. What profiles do is store your settings. So each of these different profiles I have have a different settings configuration. So I'll select my OBS dual recording profile. And this is important because the main thing we're going to do is change the canvas resolution in the settings. So I'll go to file settings, then I'll go to video. So you're gonna have some default value here. That's probably gonna be your monitor's resolution. I'm going to double the width. So instead of 1920, I'm gonna make it 3840. And then do the same thing with the output. Make sure it's the same, 3840 by 1080. Then I'll click apply. Okay. And now my canvas is twice as wide. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my desktop. So I'll click the plus for my sources. I'll add a display capture. I'll say, okay. I'll choose my 1920 by 1080 desktop. I'll click okay. So on the left, I have my desktop. Now I'll click plus again, and I'm going to add a video capture device. This is my webcam. I'll say, okay. And then I'll select my device here. Okay. I'll move it over. Let's make it bigger. Now, if you want, you can configure your video settings here. I have it cropped a little bit, but if you want to change it, you can double click on the video capture device and then you can say configure video. And then depending on your system, you'll have different options here. I can change the zoom, all that type of stuff. Now I'll cancel out of this. I'll also add a microphone. So I'll click the plus. I'll click audio input capture. Okay. I'll choose my microphone here. Yeti stereo microphone. Okay. Now let's record some video. Let me get some game up here. I'll just open solitaire on my desktop. Let's play the classic game and I'll click start recording. So start recording. So my video is recording now. So I don't even remember how to play solitaire hardly. So I'm just recording some stuff and I'll stop the recording now. Now here I have the file that I just recorded. So let me open it and play it in VLC. So I'll play it and the sound isn't that great. So I'll mute it. What you can see is that this is one wide video. So on the left side of the video is my desktop and on the right is my webcam. So it's just one video, but it recorded the screens side by side. So now the question is, how do we actually edit this video? Well, let me show you how to do that in DaVinci Resolve. So I'm going to open DaVinci Resolve here. This is my preferred video editor. There's a free version that does basically everything I need. So be sure to check that out if you're looking for a good editor that's free. And I'll create a new project. So I'll call OBS demo create. 
Now giving a complete tutorial on DaVinci Resolve is definitely beyond the scope of this video, but let me briefly show you how I'd work with this video clip that we made with OBS. And you can apply this method to your editor of choice too. So if you're using Premiere or some other tool, chances are the same exact method will work. So in DaVinci Resolve, I'm gonna go to the Edit tab. So I'm gonna open up the Media Pool, and I'm just going to import the clip I made. So I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna say Import Media, and here's the clip. So I'll click Open. It's asking me if I'd like to change the frame rate. I usually just say Change, that's fine. Now I'll drag my clip onto the timeline. And I can play my video. Now you can see that our video was fit into the timeline here. And if I right click on my timeline here in my media pool, I can go to timelines, timeline settings. I can see its resolution is 1920 by 1080, which is fine for us. So I'll just click cancel. We don't need to do that anymore. Now the key thing we want to do is duplicate our video. So I'll have the arrow selected here in selection mode. This orange arrow means I'm in selection mode. I'll alt click on the video and then go alt and drag up to another layer. So now I've basically duplicated my video layer here. I'm going to rename them. The bottom one I'm going to call desktop and the top one I'll call webcam. Now let me hide desktop for the time being. I'll disable the track. You're not going to notice any difference because our layer on top is exactly the same. But with my webcam layer selected here, what I can do is I can click the inspector and this is going to be options related to editing this video track here. So I can move it around, I can zoom it, but the most important thing is I can crop it. So if I scroll down here, I'll expand cropping. And now I'm going to crop left. So if I crop left, you can see I'm removing the left side of my video. Maybe I'll crop a little bit of the top, a little bit of the bottom, maybe a little bit of the right. I think that's pretty good there. So I was able to just isolate my webcam footage. Now, of course, what if I want to move it around? Well, there's a couple ways we can do that. We can use the transform options here. So I can click and drag on these options to zoom it. I can reposition it via these controls here. The easier way to transform it is to click this button here, transform. And now I actually have controls on canvas to move it around. So I'll drag my webcam over here. Let's put it in the bottom left corner. So that's how we can isolate our webcam and move it to a different place. Let me turn the bottom layer back on. So I'll enable this track again. And you can see now we have our bottom layer here again. So I'll select this desktop layer. And there's a couple different ways we can get this to look how we want it to. If we double the zoom, it should work. So I'll do that. So we have the right zoom size, but we don't have it positioned right. I still have my transform selected over here. So with this video layer selected, I'll drag it over and I'll get it in place. Maybe 960, right about there seems to do the trick. So now let's play the video. So you can see I have my webcam and desktop footage totally separate. And if I want, I have complete freedom to move around my desktop footage. So I can put it over here. I can even hide it for a little bit if I want. So we want to make edits that are consistent across the whole thing. Make sure you shift click both layers. And I'll press control B to make a cut. I'll press control B again here to make another cut. And I can delete my webcam here for a while if I want. So I'll press backspace. I have my webcam showing. Now it's hidden. And now it comes back again. If you use another video editor, you can use this same type of technique. Copy your video layer and then crop out each one separately. Crop your webcam so it looks good and then crop your desktop and resize if needed. If you want to learn more about OBS, check out my beginner's guide. It covers all the fundamentals including scenes and settings, which we looked at in this video. And of course, if you have any questions about separating your webcam and desktop footage, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.